Howdy and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use the search function. The directory of community gardens is centered on search, so anytime you wish to start one, go up here to the main menu and click on directory. What that will load is a blank search page. In other words, we have a blank map and we have an empty search form. To start seeing some gardens, you simply need to enter a term in one of these search fields. You can enter a garden name or part of a garden name a suburb or part of a suburb or state. Under state, we like to use the three or two letter abbreviations common in Australia. For example, let's try to enter Tasmania. Instead of spelling it out, we use the three letter abbreviation TAS. On clicking search, the system will go away and find all gardens that are located in the state of Tasmania currently on file. The tabular display is sorted according to alpha. You can see the garden names here, A, B, C, and so on. Also at the top of the page are the type of garden. This can be populated with community garden, school garden, verge gardens, etc. We also find that there's a primary contact name, if known, and a phone number. Next, we have the public access rules. How can you get to the garden and how may it be accessed? And finally, we have the updated date. This tells you how frequently or when the last update was for this particular listing. If you scroll down the page, you find that there's a map. This map corresponds with the tabular listings above. So now you can see how each garden is positioned in the state. Here we have Brooklyn Primary School. If we click on this heading, we'll go and see details about this school garden. If you scroll up the page, you'll find that Brooklyn Primary is also listed in the table. Thus, these listings are duplicated in both the table and in the map below. States can be combined here by entering a comma and a space. So you'll note here that if we have 68 listings currently, if I wanted to combine the Tasmanian and QLD listings, I would simply add QLD and then click search and we find that the system will give us the combined listings for those two states. There we go. Here you see there's 83 listings now, and on the map below we find that there are Queensland and Tasmania listings. Note the use of pagers. There are 20 listings per page. If you click on these numbers, you go to the next page or use the next or last function to take you wherever you like in the list of listings. The last function I'd like to show you is how to use stimming on garden names. Stimming is a fancy term, but it basically means you put in a part of a garden name and you get the full result. So for instance, I know that there's a garden out there called Glovers. Now I can't remember if it's Glovers with an apostrophe, as in possessive, or it's Glovers as in plural. If I put it in this way, or this way, I'm not sure what I'm going to get. But if I only put in G-L-O-V, and then do a search, I can let the system return for me the best matching searches. So for instance, we get Glovers. There it is. It didn't have an apostrophe in it. Now, if you try this with even more variation, we can get all gardens that start with G. Although it's a bit of a silly example, you can see that the system faithfully returns all gardens whose name contains a G. All 352. This probably isn't the most efficient search you'd ever want to launch, but it is possible. That's the main concepts. Have fun and catch the next tutorials as you need them.